Have you heard? Kushkan is headed to Tampa this August 6th and 7th. Network with more than 7,500 hemp and cannabis professionals. Sample products from more than 300 brands and take in over 70 educational sessions. Do you work in cannabis or hemp? Kushkan Tampa is the only place you can meet directly with the nation's largest distributors and retailers. Get tickets and learn more at kush.com forward slash kushkan. Plus, listeners of this show can save 50% on tickets with promo code podcast. Again, that's kush.com forward slash kushkan. See you there. The education is rising tides, that, that whole entire thing. Yeah. That's really going to help the, the industry. I would hope that other people in the space move away from let's just get as high as possible being that the tagline and let's get into let's be as happy as possible let's be <laughs> as healthy as possible let's look at what's out there on the market opioids alcohol and see that there's alternatives that can achieve many of the same effects without the negative results from the pod connect studios high in the rockies at the beautiful beaver creek resort it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today on MJ Bulls, we are joined by Michael Brown, the partner at Eternal Hemp. Michael, welcome to the show. Yeah, great to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, I appreciate you taking time out today. Eternal Hemp is a premium indoor hemp cultivation facility, which is located in Wilmington, Delaware. And to get started, I thought we'd talk about the facility. You're able to produce efficiently so much high quality hemp. How are you able to do it? Well, my partner and I, Ashish Katana, we don't come from the, the hemp or the cannabis industry or the cultivation, quite frankly. I come from technology. My partner has been a developer for over the last 20 some odd years. And so when we entered into the business, we knew that the, the main thing that sunk a lot of companies was not focusing really on purely on cost. We knew that we could get a quality product, but we said we had to really figure out the nuts and bolts of how to get a product out the door specifically within a cost that we knew we could scale quickly. And so with that kind of mandate in mind, we said quality is number one, and we knew we had to find the right team, had to find the right growing system, et cetera. So we spent the initial year of our business just testing out growing systems going through, building out rooms, going through full harvest, which is, I mean, that's three months and yeah. three months in which a lot of things can happen throughout that. And me being in technology, everything became data points. I mean, copious notes, understanding every stage of the growing cycle. And then we, then my partner having uh, experience in development and construction, really being able to scale our grow rooms quite quickly. And so combining those two, that's how we came up with really a solution, a unique solution, utilizing somewhat unconventional methods to be able to scale vertically, because that's how we grow. We grow almost 13 feet high. We have a very, a cultivators call it a lollipop method, and there's a certain nutrient regimen that, that we do. And we, we actually created in-house an application that tracks every single stage, every single input of the hemp cultivation cycle so that we understand our outputs. So really, we came from this looking at, well, what are our inputs? How's the machine churn? And what is the cost of the machine churning so that we know exactly what our outputs would be? And therein lies why over the past year, we were able to successfully grow and cultivate a good amount of high, high quality hemp and therefore then get it into products that we now currently produce. Yeah, because indoor grows, I, th I would say there's a few additional costs that you have in an indoor grow that you don't have in an outdoor grow. So you have to be very, very mindful of your cost, your overhead. Yes. And rents, rents probably right up there at the top. So if you can have a smaller footprint and take advantage vertically, that's got to be a huge advantage. Now, do you just produce products for your brands or do you produce hemp for other companies' brands? Well, we have a two-pronged business model. Right now, we currently are not cultivating. We are focused on our brands that we've re released out into the market. We saw a huge upside that was happening within the hemp market and hemp derivatives market. And we said, let's shift somewhat of our focus. We are going to get back into cultivation as we proceed along because we want to continue to control the quality 
of our products, you know, and whether that's either the products that we produce or the material that we produce goes into our products, or it's just so that we can give very detailed SOPs of how we want our products to be created. Mm -hmm. So our business model is really two pronged. We go with, yes, producing kind of wholesale or retail level, high quality hemp flour that's indoor grown, which is rare in the industry. And then also we have our finished products that we've come up with, whether it be through our own growing and or partnerships with other cultivators that we have relationships with. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, let's talk about your brands for a second. Can you tell us what sector each of your brands fills? So overall, our brands really are focused on fun, creativity, and really fulfilling a need of an everyday use, right? So Lucy's, as an example, which is our smokable products brand, Lucy's comes in a cigarette, a blunt, as well as in loose flour that we grow and or either one of our partners has grown for us to our specs. That really is focused on really an everyday use, right? Similar to how uh, if you're from the city, going to a bodega, going to a corner store and saying, hey, give me a Lucy. It means just a loose cigarette or something like that, or one cigar or something along those lines. So really, that's kind of the market that that we're focused Lucy's on. It's a young market. It's fun. It's not about getting, you know, like some other brands that are out there totally altered. It's really just about taking the edge off, focusing on creativity, focusing on fun, and, and providing that solution. Our other brand called Jolie, Jolie is an edibles brand. Jolie is more for the soccer mom. I I think of Jolie really (laughs) came out from, quite frankly, all of our wives and looking at the stress that they go through, taking care of not only us, but also taking care of the family as a whole and really looking at it and saying, well, how could we create something from him that really enables you to be efficient and effective in terms of being able to get through your day but also gives you a detachment, somewhat of a break from the stress. I, I like to call it round out the edges. We've done really amazing work with Jolie in terms of just consistency. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is that our Jolie uh, gummies and candies are extremely consistent. Every single time, it's the same exact effect. You know, we are a little bit of a higher price point, but we know that it's worth it and we've seen it through our sales because of the consistency, the consistency mm-hmm. of the gummies, consistency of the candies. Uh, and we'll be coming out with more edibles as the landscape starts to evolve within that brand. Our final brand is Lifted. And Lifted is a beverage. It's a hemp-derived beverage. We call it the Cannabis beverage. It is a healthier alternative to alcohol. Very typically, if you were to have a glass of wine or you know, a glass of scotch or something like that, we say, well, you know, try Lifted. You could do Lifted over ice, Lifted straight. You can sip on it really all day. It's really engineered to relax you, but not make you necessarily fall. It's similar to a glass of wine. And so Lifted, again, we're looking at that as a very fun brand. It enables you to go out and party with friends, to have a good time without that nasty hangover from alcohol that typically comes about. As we see in the market evolve, people are learning that alcohol is more of a depressant than I think people tend to realize. And really, this is the greatest thing about hemp and the different hemp derivatives and cannabinoids and how they really can be utilized for health and fun and relaxation without those lingering effects that typically, unfortunately, pills and or alcohol has yeah. you know, each individual. That lifted, I, I think that's a fun fun idea. I, I, yeah. I, we've talked about this before. I, I think that's something that's going to really take off. I don't know. It's something about having a drink in your hand We've been programmed for that. I think the future is going to somehow go that direction. It just feels like that. But right. you, you mentioned cannabinoids. And I, I know sometimes people get tripped up on this because cannabis and cannabis is illegal in some states. It's legal in other states. It's federally illegal. And most of our listeners understand that there's compounds within the cannabis plant like THC and CBD. Those are the ones that everybody knows. But there are many different strains of cannabis, and under that umbrella, if the strain has less than 3% THC, we refer to it as hemp, and therefore it's it's legal. So people can buy your product online because it has a low THC level, and therefore it's federally legal. 
but there's a ton of other cannabinoids besides those two that we always talk about. And I think that's one of the things that people miss is that there's benefits besides mind altering benefits to having all those cannabinoids working together. Are you feeling that your customers enjoy the fact that they have that entourage effect? Absolutely. I mean, what we focus on in Eternal Hemp is really a lot of education. Education within the different cannabinoids that are available to the consumers. We focus on uh, really educating consumers in terms of the form factors in which they ingest or, or consume cannabis or hemp. Mm-hmm. So, so we see the marketplace is only getting stronger as long as the education and the openness to education continues to flow. And so when introducing people to Lifted, which comes in a variety of different flavors, we're talking to them about, well, here's a cannabinoid or a hemp derivative that allows you or enables you to do X. And yes, it, X meaning it relaxes you, or it enables you to have a good night's sleep, or it enables you to just be more alert, to mm-hmm. stay awake. I mean, perfect example, a hemp derivative Delta 10 has been known for being alert, but not feeling that mind-altering state. The Delta 8 has been known for being more creative, and helping you with creativity, opening up synapses in terms of how you process information in a creative space. Even the strains that are used, we are strain junkies in many ways, and that we really do look at every single product that we release. We look at what is the strain, what is the effect, what historically has been the effect. How can we deliver those effects along with terpenes, along with different combinations of natural herbs and things of that nature? How can we deliver to our customers the perfect experience or the consistent experience utilizing, I don't want to say the full entourage because the entourage effects has a different meaning, but using all that is available within hemp at our fingertips to the advantage of our consumer. And so we've really focused on delivering to our consumer the form factors that they consume cannabis in. And unlike other companies, we haven't come up with tens of thousands of different you know, form factors, we kept it pretty simple. Mm-hmm. We knew that we wanted to just reach people where they were at and speak to their listener. How are they ingesting information? How are they ingesting cannabis? Well, this is the way that we can deliver it. So that's one. Two, we really wanted to explore the different cannabinoids. See, you mentioned CBD, THC. It's sad that that is usually the full educational understanding of hemp and cannabis with most people. And if you really look at it, and the CBD, CBG, CBN, you know, THC, THCO, THCA, THCV, I mean, it's like alphabet soup. Yeah. And so we try to educate as much as possible with our store owners, our retail shops that we're currently selling in, as well as online, going to conferences and talking with people of not only hemp, but also about cannabis, because we are moving into the cannabis space with some of our products. So we're trying to just continue the education because the education is rising tides, that, that whole entire thing. Yeah, That's really going to help the, the industry. I would hope that other people in the space move away from let's just get as high as possible, being that the tagline, and let's get into let's be as happy as possible. Let's be <laughs> as healthy as possible. And let's look at what's out there on the market, opioids, alcohol, and see that there's alternatives that can achieve many of the same effects without the negative results. Subscribe to Hemper's Monthly Smoking Boxes and you'll never be caught needing to replenish your stash again. Hemper is hands down the best place to stock up on your smoking supplies, no matter the occasion. Curated with innovative and hand-selected products to ensure you're getting the absolute highest quality accessories for your smoking experience. Hemper's monthly subscription service provides $100 plus in value for only $40. There's also a convenient option to receive one every month, every three months, every six months, or yearly. Plus, MJ Bulls listeners get an additional 10% off Hemper box and the XL box with promo code MJBULLS10. So go to Hemper.com, type in promo code MJBULLS10 to get started. It's a nationwide message that you have to do it, and which is expensive. Would you need any capital? Will we be raising money for this marketing effort that you have to do? Yes, we currently are in a, 
in the market, raising capital. Okay. And really, our focus is on expanding our marketing reach, expanding our education, and of course, traversing this into cannabis. Wow. Right now, we are completely in hemp, 100% in hemp, which is federally legal, which is legal in all states and et cetera. So we can deliver our hemp to anyone. But we realize there's a great opportunity through this raise for us to really expand our brand, expand our reach, although we didn't talk about it, really expand our social mission, right? We're a BIPOC-owned hemp cultivation and manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. But what we really look to do is leverage our success to help reduce and eliminate prison recidivism and provide economic empowerment for the communities we serve. Uh, I know it's kind of an overused term in terms of the prison complex and cannabis for good and all those things. We're really trying to expand what we can do within the industry. And it's part of the reason why we started in indoor farming. Mm -hmm. We saw that through our social mission, yes, we could offer a job and that's great. And that's a job allows a, a man or a woman to be able to quantify their day, which is uberly important to a community and the communities that we serve. But beyond that, what indoor farming, what product development, product fulfillment, supply chain management, it produces a skill and a trade that has a multiplier effect within that community. You packing a box in a warehouse or something, that is a skill. So I won't undermine that skill. You learning how plumbing works in, in a thousand square foot grow room that yeah. has a filtration system that has UV and carbon filters, that's a whole nother set of skills. Sure. And that's a skill that you, as our employee, can transfer over, not just to your community, but it can be a generational transfer of a multiplier effect of wealth, of stabilization within that, that community that we serve with that. Man, that's exciting. That is exciting. Like yeah. you said, in addition to the potential opportunities that will be in in front of you when you already have the infrastructure in place and right. federal laws change and you can transition, you can pull along an entire community with you in that transition, that opportunity. And from an investor standpoint, seems like there's a lot of upside and we'll have all of internal hemp's info in the show notes. So if you, A, if you want to take a look at more of the products and learn more about it or even place an order, you can do it just by clicking the links. Or if you want to talk to Michael about possibly participating in this journey that they're on financially, I'm sure he'd be happy to talk to you. Michael, I wish we had more time. This was a great interview. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything you're doing for the industry. Truly. Thank you. Hey, everyone. It's Ryan from the Cannabis Connoisseur Podcast. If you're looking for ways to utilize cannabis to keep you healthy, strong, and sharp, come join us every Wednesday where we dive into the best ways to use cannabis to optimize your life. Topics include cannabis and athletics, cannabis for productivity, cannabis for anxiety, cannabis for a healthy immune system, and so much more. If you're a curious connoisseur, this show is for you. So please head over to our page and we're looking forward to seeing you this week. Bye. 